Hello everybody and welcome to Car Confections. We're standing out here in the middle of the night because we have a very important car sitting behind me. This is one of the most popular luxury vehicles, period. This is the Lexus RX, and not just any RX, this is the all new 2023 version. And what we're gonna be doing today is doing a night review of this car, talking about all of its lighting elements and seeing what you're gonna get if you live with this vehicle on the daily. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into that. So as always, we will start out by what happens when I walk up to the RX. So for this new generation, when you walk up to the vehicle, you won't notice any fancy lighting uh, animations or anything, but the door handles do gently illuminate, which is a really nice touch. And if I unlock the vehicle, I'll let Josh back up here for a second. When I unlock the vehicle, the Arrowhead daytime running lights will come on as well as the rear tail lights for this RX. So that gives a, a cooler look if you wanna unlock the vehicle when you walk up to it. But let's go ahead and hop inside and get this vehicle started up. And you can see we have a little welcome animation here on the display here. And let's go ahead and check out the exterior. So we'll start out here with the exterior of this all new RX. Now, this has a really bright blue paint color on this particular model that you can even see at nighttime. And as far as the grill is concerned, we're gonna have a new RX grill. This is the F-Sport model, which means that we're gonna have a blacked out lower area here. And we do also have some more aggressive elements on the side. But as far as the lighting is concerned, let's talk about that. You're noticing these premium headlights right here. Now, we have the premium triple beam LED arrangement, which is about a $1,500 option on the RX. Um, that gives you the triple beams, as the name would imply. You also have the LED turn signal indicator and the LED arrowhead. Um, every RX does come with LED lighting, though. It's just going to be a little bit less of a premium design than this particular model right here. And as you'll see uh, a little bit later in the video, these are also adaptive lights, so they kind of bend and swivel, which is a really cool feature. Now, as far as other design elements, you will notice that we do have a 21-inch alloy wheel. It looks really good here at nighttime. And then let's talk about our mirrors. We have an LED turn signal indicator here on the side. It's gonna have a black housing. The important information about this RX's mirror at nighttime is that it is driver's side auto dimming. Now, notice I didn't say both sides auto dimming. Only the driver's side on the RX is auto dimming on the exterior, exterior mirror, which is a little bit disappointing for me, especially on a luxury vehicle with a $65,000 price tag. And as far as here at the side, we do have a stylish RX look. We're gonna have the floating roof element going on here. And the chrome trim honestly looks black at night, which I really do like. Now, as far as the rear design is concerned, we're gonna have the newest Lexus uh, design signature for their SUVs, which means we have Lexus spelled out across the back. And we're also gonna have full length LED taillights, which looks so cool here at nighttime. Now you will notice that we have LED accenting all the way across the back. We also have a really cool like pattern here on the side, which looks really fancy at night. We're gonna have an LED amber turn signal indicator, also an LED reverse light. So these are full LED lights. And then also notice that we have LED license plate lighting, which is something that some manufacturers will cheap out on sometimes. One thing worth noting, no exposed exhaust outlets on any RX model on this new generation, which I'm a little disappointed by. But let's go ahead and pop open the tailgate here. And once we pop this open, we're gonna have a maximum of about 46 cubic feet of cargo capacity in the RX, 29 cubic feet behind the second row. Um, if you want full facts and figures for this Lexus RX, we do have a full review on the channel that is worth noting. Uh, we review it in the daytime so you can actually see stuff a lot better, but this review is gonna be focused mainly on the lighting elements. Um, as far as the lighting elements in the trunk area, we do have LED lights on both sides that illuminates quite well. Uh, what you can see back here, as you can see all the backpacks, we also have a light up here at the top of the tailgate that kind of illuminates down gracefully to make sure you can see everything that you're doing back here, which is very nice for this luxury SUV. But guys, that pretty much wraps up this all new RX. As far as the lighting is concerned on the outside, there's a lot of cool stuff on the inside that I wanna show you though. All right guys, we're gonna check out the inside. So when I unlock the doors, as you can see the cabin gently illuminates because we do have a lot of LED lighting inside of here. So we can definitely see where we're going inside of this cabin of the new RX. Um, 
very premium look to it because all of that lighting is LED. And of course it does have a really nice design for this all new model. One thing I do want to point out, um, it doesn't really have anything to do with the nighttime, but we do have an electronic door handle. So that's a unique thing with this new RX um, on the outside as well as the inside. But once we get inside and fully shut up the door, we don't have any like screen animations when we shut the door, but when we start it up, we do have some cool animations here. So we have one in the gauge cluster over here on the actual display. We also have one in the head up display, which I know you're probably not able to see, but let's go ahead and transition into a first person style so we can dive into all the nitty gritty details of this interior. So now that we move to a first person perspective, I do want to talk about the lighting. Now I mentioned these are LED triple beam headlights. So as you can see, this is just a low beam right up here. A uh, very bright headlight. We've been using it through the entire week because this has been a week long test of the RX and they are very bright LEDs. I give them an A plus rating. Now this is just a low beam, like I said, switch it to the high beam. As you can see, very, very big improvement. The high beam is very bright guys. We do also have auto high beams, which of course is a, you know, important feature for any vehicle uh, really nowadays and just very impressive LED headlights. Now, you're probably also noticing that we do have a really cool head up display. Of course, that shows up really well here at nighttime. Um, we do also have the touchpad over here that we can adjust different information. So as you can see, we can do our audio controls here. And then if we use the other trackpad from the other direction, we can adjust some of our um, driving settings as well. Really impressive head up display. I like the HUD on this particular model. Dropping down below that, here's your gauge cluster. It's a digital gauge cluster, although I will say the screen is a little bit laggy at times. And then coming back to the steering wheel, it's a really nice design steering wheel. You can't really see it very well at nighttime, um, but it's a nice leather wrapped finish, heated wheel. All of our buttons are gonna be illuminated in a nice white color on the left and right side. And you will also notice this little sensor here. You see all those really cool lights there. The camera is picking up that this actually has these uh, sensors that are detecting my facial uh, movements and stuff to make sure I'm paying attention because this does have a traffic jam assist function. Now moving over to the side of that, all of our buttons over here are white illuminated. Here are your two per three person memory seating uh, buttons. The steering wheel is going to be power, tilt, and telescoping. Let's go ahead and check out the center area here. Now, one thing I do want to point out that some of the, this vehicle's rivals do have is, you know, a light that kind of casts down onto the interior area in the center console. This RX does not have that. Um, a name, uh, quite a few luxury cars in this segment do have lights that kind of cast down to create a nice little haze or maybe more ambient lights in the center console area, but you're not really going to have that in the RX because what you're seeing right now is basically the street light on the outside. Now here's the center console. It does have illumination inside of that. You can open it from both directions. Then in front of that, we do have blue illuminated buttons here. Here's your shifter. It's going to be an electronic style shifter. So you just bump to the left bump down for drive, bump to the left and up for reverse. And once we're in reverse, you will notice that we do have a very, very high resolution camera here. Even at nighttime, this looks absolutely fantastic. No graininess to it whatsoever. You do also have a 360 camera option if you want that on the RX. Then up in front of that, our wireless phone charger is does have a nice illumination. All of our USB ports are also illuminated so you know where to plug in. And then I do want to hit the main ambient lighting strip in this RX, and that's going to be over here on the passenger side. You have it there on the dashboard. It kind of illuminates the trim piece. It looks very good. I will say I like the ambient lighting. You can change the color depending on what you like. Um, there's just not a lot of it. I will say for a $65,000 SUV, there should be more ambient lighting inside this cabin. It's just this strip right here. Um, nothing in the center console, nothing in the rear areas. Um, I would like for Lexus to maybe add something here on the door trim, front and rear, and maybe on the center console here. Now, as far as the uh, audio system, we do have a Mark Levinson audio system on this particular model. And then here are your climate controls. They're kind of integrated in on the screen, which is a really nice setup. I like this uh, dual zone automatic setup. And then you will also notice that we do have our automatic heated and ventilated seats and an automatic heated steering wheel. Now this display itself is 14 inches. Um, it's a very high resolution display. 
It runs wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. It also runs Lexus's uh, newest infotainment system. So you have all of your different functionalities here. I don't have to tell you, this looks absolutely amazing here at nighttime. It looks great in the daytime and it looks even more impressive at night. Now coming up, we do have an auto dimming interior mirror. So you're not gonna be blinded by that Ram 1500 uh, tailgating you at nighttime. And as you can see, that's just a regular mirror setup. You have home link garage door openers, but it does also have the rear camera mirror system. So as you can see, nice resolution on that camera as well. Now up at the very top, we do have a panoramic moonroof. That's a $500 option on this Lexus RX. A standard size moonroof is uh, standard equipment on every single model, but you do have that option to upgrade to the panoramic moonroof. Let's go ahead and check out the rear seat with the door open. We do have some LED lighting up in the uh, roof here, as well as up there in the front. Then when we shut up the door, I guess I was lying a little bit. There is some ambient lighting right here. It's just not much. It's just one little light bulb. Um, we do have illuminated window switches, though, and then you have bottle storage on the bottom. There's a full view of the interior with a little bit of ambient lighting. You also have some footwell lighting. Down in the center area, we do have two lighted USB ports as well as our own climate controls. Heated and ventilated seats are available on this Lexus RX as a $680 option. And if you're curious about the powertrain of this Lexus RX, we did take it out for a spin in our full review, uh, but this RX 350 model is rocking a 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder, 275 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. There is also three other powertrain options, an RX 350H, an RX 450H plus, and an RX 500H, if you would prefer a different powertrain setup. But guys, that's gonna wrap up our night review of this all new 2023 Lexus RX 350F Sport. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, please hit that subscribe button down below because it really helps us out. It helps give us cars like this to test out for a full week in which I can give you a night review of this model. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your viewership and support. You're what makes this possible, so we certainly are appreciative of that. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram if you haven't had a chance already, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.